What's going on everybody? Ronnie DiMaggio here, product specialist at BMW of Morristown. And in today's video, we are doing a walk around and overview with this 2022 X4M competition. So this is not a new car, obviously 2022. This is a very lightly used uh, car that we have here in stock at BMW of Morristown, about 7,000 miles on it, great condition as you'll see. Uh, but we're using it as our demo car to show you guys what the X4M is like, what it's all about because we haven't yet done an X4M on the channel yet. So this is, like I said, a 22 X4M, and the X4M lineup is structured uh, very similarly to most cars in the BMW family. That is, there's a base model, there's an M performance model, and then there's the full-blown M model. Obviously, the X4M is the full-blown M model of the X4 lineup, so you have the X4 xDrive 30i, X4 M40, and then, of course, the X4M and the X4M competition like we have here. So in this video, we'll go over all of the exterior styling elements. We'll go over performance. We'll hop inside and take a look at the interior and just get you as familiar as possible with the X4M. So let's start out with what's going on under the hood, being an M car. Pretty important to talk about the engine and the drivetrain. So the X4M is powered by a three liter twin turbocharged inline six called the S58. This is the same engine that we use in the M3 and the M4, the upcoming M2 as well, we'll get this engine, but in competition form, it makes 503 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque, sends power to all four wheels via MX drive, and it is paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission exclusively. So really powerful engine. We've talked about this engine quite a bit in M3 and M4 videos. We also did an X3M, and we have a video going on all over all of the different engines in the M lineup. So if you want more info on the S58, we'll link to those videos here. But uh, suffice it to say, really powerful engine, really potent engine. It's great for daily driving. It's uh, got enough torque down low, so you don't have to rev it out crazy high like old M engines to get the power out of it. Uh, it sounds nice. It's reasonably fuel efficient, and it's overall just a great engine that we're really excited that BMW is starting to use in more and more models with it coming to the M2, who knows where we might see it in the future, but overall great engine in the X4M. Let's talk a little bit about the exterior styling starting up front. Uh, well, first of all, before we even talk about that, let's talk about this color. This is an individual color. It's called Malachite Green. Hopefully I pronounced that right, but it is a special order color. It was ordered on the car as a $5,000 extra option when it was ordered new for the 2022 model year. Really unique color, sort of like an army green, somewhere between like Oxford green and urban green, um, if you're familiar with those colors, but definitely looks cool, suits the X4M really well, especially because this one is a competition and it has all those black accents around the grill, the lower bumper, the wheels, the badges, as you'll see, so cool looking color. But styling wise up front, as you can see, it's actually very similar to an X3M because the X4 and the X3 share pretty much the same front end. Unless you're looking at that sloping roof line, you're pretty much looking at the same car. The headlights here will match an X3, um, X3 to X4, they will match. The grills, the bumper, all of that stuff looks pretty much, not pretty much identical. It is identical. It is the same front end minus the roof line, obviously. So. That's to say, really good looking front end with some aggressive L-shaped inlets there on the side. That is a signature of just the M models in the X3 and the X4 lineup. Really nice kind of gaping air intake down in the lower part of the bumper here with a honeycomb. And then, of course, your signature kidney grills with the dual slats and the X4M logo over there on the right side. So very M looking front end with all those vents, the dual slat kidney grills. Really good looking front end. Let's come around to the side of the car where we can take a look at these 21 inch wheels that are found on a good amount of X4 and X3 M's. Most of them, in fact, are ordered with these wheels. They look really, really nice. 255, 21 up front, 265, 40, 21 out back. Uh, blue caliper behind those wheels with your cross-drilled rotors with the semi-floating design. That is, again, signature of all M cars nowadays. Great looking wheel and tire package with the Michelin tires. So good to see that when you're looking for a used or even a new X4M, when you see it with um, that good looking wheel and brake package with the Michelin tires, looks really cool. As far as the side of the car, design wise, this is where the X4M sort of differentiates itself from the X3M. Obviously, you know, about here back, the X4M is unique. So 
The slope back roof line is obviously the signature design element of the X4M. The X3 is, uh, this is true of all BMW models, by the way. The X3, all those odd numbered models have a more traditional body style. So three series, X3, five series, X7, X5, all those odd numbers have the traditional sedan or SUV body style, whereas the even numbers have a coupe or sport back, slow back roof line design. So X4, X6, eight series, cars like that, four series Grand Coupe. So that X4M um, badge signifies that it's the slow back, the even number. So it looks really good. It does sacrifice a little bit of practicality. As we come around to the back of the car, we can show you guys the trunk and what it looks like from the back as well. But you do lose about 10 cubic feet of cargo capacity from the X3. So you are sacrificing a little bit of practicality to get that slope back roof line, but it looks a lot more unique. If you like the X3 in its design philosophy and the way it drives and things like that, but you don't necessarily love the more pedestrian shape and you know standard look of an SUV, that's where the X4M and the X6 for that matter come into play. So that's sort of the purpose of the X4M's design language with the slope back roof. Let's talk a little bit about the rear end styling while we're back here. The tail lights are completely unique to the X4, as is the trunk and this sort of rear look that you're seeing right now. This is all unique to the X4. It looks really nice. I do think the X4 is a great looking car in general. The M obviously makes it a little better. We have some pretty big quad exhaust outlets down here, signature of all M cars. You'll see that on any M car, the quad exhaust. And it looks great. It also sounds really great. Why don't you guys take a listen to it? We'll splice in a quick exhaust clip here. All right, so as you heard, exhaust sounds pretty good. All the S58s sound really nice. Very signature BMW M straight six noise. But that'll do it for the exterior as well as the exhaust clip. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk, get an idea of what the practicality looks like in the cargo area. We'll also hop in the back seat, show you guys what that looks like, and of course, hop up front. But we'll start back here in the trunk. All right, so I mentioned that the X4 sacrifices cargo capacity in favor of its sport back design. Like I said, 10 cubic feet with the seats folded up compared to the X3 is what you're losing, and about 12 cubic feet with the seats folded down, less cargo capacity than the X3, or fewer, fewer cubic feet, I should say. So it is a little bit of a sacrifice. However, as you can see, you still have plenty of room here, even with the seats up and your partition in place, and you do have uh, your spare under here as well, or if you want the storage space, you could take that out and store things under there. So perfectly usable trunk, really plenty of cargo space back here. But if you are using your X3 or X4 to, you know, haul kids to and from school, college, something like that, packing it up very frequently, going on long trips, we have a lot of luggage, things like that. You might prefer the X3 because the X4's cargo capacity may not be suitable for you. But for most people, I would think that this is really plenty of room uh, to make do in the cargo area. Let's come around to the back seat. We'll take a look at what the space back here is like. So I have this front driver's seat set to my own driving position. And as you can see, I have plenty of knee room here. Knee room to spare, foot room to spare. The only thing is headroom is a tiny bit tight. I'm about five foot nine. And if I sit totally upright like this, um, I only have about an inch of headroom. Uh, if you're a little taller than me, maybe six foot is probably the, the tallest you could get away with sitting upright back here. Uh, maybe 5.11, something like that. So headroom is a little bit of a sacrifice. Again, you can see that pretty clearly. If you look at the way the roof is, your head's somewhere in this area in the back seat, whereas with an X3, you know, that roof line's further up there. So again, you're sacrificing a little bit of practicality for the X4 and the X for the X4's design compared to the X3. But if the styling advantages are worth that sacrifice, uh, then it's a worthy trade-off. If not, then it's not a worthy trade-off and you should get an X3 instead, but that's up to you to decide. Overall, I think in the vast majority of cases, the X4's practicality, both rear seat and cargo, will be suitable for the majority of people. However, like I said, uh, that's a decision for you to make. Hopefully we gave you enough information to make that decision. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for the trunk and the back seat. Let's hop up front and we'll talk about the front passenger area. All right, so here we are inside of the 22 X4M. First thing you'll notice, this car has the Tartufo leather as well as the carbon fiber. 
which is an awesome combination with the Malachite green exterior. Really cool green over tan, very classy color combo. It looks really nice. Tartufo is beautiful, so is the exterior here. So great color combo, combo on this one specifically. Let's talk a little bit about the design language in the X4M's interior. You will notice that it is pretty similar to the X3. There are a few differences that do set it apart from the X3, mainly this lower center console area, the cup holder center um, tunnel is designed slightly differently with these leather um, sort of partitions on either side. And of course you have the X4M competition badge, but other than that, the interior is very X3 in the front here. Uh, which is a good thing. I think the X3 has a very nice interior. It's very cleanly designed. Everything falls to hand really easily. Ergonomics are good. So the X3 and the X4 do have a nice interior. Let's talk about it a little bit more specifically, starting with the ergonomics. First of all, the seats are super comfortable. Even the M seats that are a little bit more aggressively bolstered are very comfortable. I could sit in these easily for hours at a time if I needed to. The armrests both fall at the exact same height, which is great. And the steering wheel is awesome to hold on to. It's your traditional M steering wheel with the paddle shifters, the nice nine and three grip, and of course these 10 and two notches with your M tricolor stitching. So good looking and good feeling steering wheel, uh, which adds to the ergonomic benefits of the X4. Great place to sit, very comfortable for the front seat and rear seat passengers. As far as equipment goes, this car is equipped with the Harman Kardon sound system as is true of all X4 and X3 M models. It also has your full suite of parking sensors with your overhead camera, your 3D view, things like that that people really like and which makes parking significantly easier. Control this with gesture control, which is pretty cool. Uh, that is obviously integrated into the iDrive 7 infotainment system. So the X4 is still, even for 23, running iDrive 7, as is true of the X3 iDrive 8 will come to the X4 and the X3 eventually, as is true of all BMW models, but for now, still iDrive 7 with your standard digital gauge cluster. Uh, as far as the way that these tech pieces work, iDrive 7 is fantastic. We've been using it for a while now in a lot of different cars. As you can see, as I just kind of run through the menus here, everything works really well. It's really snappy, really easy to use, and the touch functionality is instant and easy to use as well. So great infotainment system. We've never really had any major complaints about iDrive 7. It works well, it looks nice, it's easy to use. It has all the tech that you would want in a daily driver or an everyday car. So nice to see that. As far as that digital gauge cluster, though, it's important to talk about it a little bit more, especially in an M car, because you can press this M mode button down here in the center console and it changes the look of the gauge cluster. You can see that you now have the dual bar center sort of vertical tachometer with your speed and gear position displayed in the center there. And then you have your heads up display, which also shows this big horizontal tachometer, which looks really cool in that M mode, which is nice to see even in the standard um, non M mode, your road mode for the gauge cluster and heads up display selection. It still looks pretty nice and aggressive. It is unique to the M cars, even in this standard layout, which does match the non M cars. The font is a little bit different. The gauges themselves are a little bit different. You have an X4 M logo up there in the top. So still stands out in a unique and interesting way. As far as other things that differentiate the X4M from, say, a standard X4, obviously you have the M seats, you have the M gauge cluster, you have the X4M badge here, the M shifter, the M steering wheel. So there's a lot to differentiate the X4M. This is true of all M cars. The interiors definitely feel properly special and unique compared to their counterparts that are in the same model range but aren't adorned with the M badge or the full M treatment. So Nice to see the X4M definitely steps it up in a big way as far as both performance, aesthetics, and obviously equipment and how well optioned the cars are. It, it ticks all those boxes as an M car should. So overall, the X4M has a nice interior, good tech, comfortable, lots of things to make it stand apart, feel special and unique on the inside here. But that's going to do it for our quick one run through of the interior. Let's go ahead and hop outside and we'll wrap up. All right, so that's gonna do it for this walk around and overview of the 2022 X4M competition. Hopefully you guys enjoyed checking out this X4M. Like I said, if you're in the market for an X4M, this one is currently being sold used here at BMW of Morristown. 
It has about 7,000 miles, uh, individual paint color, really nice interior spec as well. So if you're in the market for an X4M, this is an awesome one to check out. Give us a call, 973-455-0700, or visit us at 111 Ridgedale Ave here in Morristown, New Jersey, if you want to check out this X4M. If you're not in the market for an X4M, maybe you just wanted to check one out, see what it's all about. Hopefully, we gave you guys a good and thorough tour of it, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at BMW of Morristown. We're super active on all of our socials as well as on YouTube. So drop a comment if you have any questions or comments about anything BMW related. We will get back to you. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.